Welcome everybody to episode 12 of Let's Chat, um, Community Rugby, where we look at everything from the past week's FMG Premier Grade, we'll look around the grounds, we'll have the local hero of the week, team or clip of the week, and the tips which everyone loves. Uh, I'm your host, Dane Lazarus, I'm joined by once again Graham Cooper. Coops, thanks for joining us. Thanks mate, how are you? Yeah, good. Cold in Canberra? It was. Yeah. It was zero. Zero. finished that's, the game. That's not ideal. No, not at all. We had a new set, no black, just a little white background, if you do see that. Awesome, got the old board back. Just changing things up, you know, keeping it fresh. Keeping it fresh. All right, so we'll get straight into it, Coops. The results from last week, you, you tipped every one of them. Yep. I don't think every one Poorly. of them right. So, uh, <laughs> first one, um, Netherlands Wanneroo. You, you did tip the young fellas Wanneroo. Uh, Netherlands got up 27-8. What happened there? Yeah, mate, Netties just showed their class in this one, I think. Um, Away, away as well, which is which was big from them. Um, it makes it really tough for the Wanneroo boys this week to, to, to cement their top six spots. So, yeah, and the the other one there in the top was one v three, I think, before that round started. Cot v UWA thirteen ten. Yep. Um, UWA are definitely going to put a bit of a, a dent in this competition, and I think they could go to the final. Yeah. Um, the cop boys watching a bit of the footage yesterday um, it was a bit of a niggly game. So I think the the cop boys got a bit underneath the the UWA skin there just to get up by that three point margin, um, which is a big win for them as well. Yeah, absolutely. And in, in other results, West Scarborough defeated Southern Lions twenty seven five. Palmyra defeated uh, Coastal Cabs twenty one three. Arks defeated Kirsten fifty to thirteen. Uh, Soaks get over got over Basie there twenty to seven. And Joondalup, a, a big win there, 32-12 over Calabunda. Yep. Yeah. We'll have a look at the results there, Coops, or the table. Yep. What, what do you make there? <laughs> Top Mate. three cemented? Yeah, can't touch them, I don't think. Yep. Um, and then, made from four till seven, um, pretty much have to win this week to be able to st stay in the top six. So. Yeah, so Soaks and Pally have to win. Um, and then UW and Wanneroo have to lose yep. in order for that to sort of change, change over. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So um, 14, four games that have something on the line. So it's going to be good. The top six will play finals yep. um, in Div 1. And then the top of top two of Div 2 for the championship, there will end up being in that other Div 2 final. So yep. that's just for everyone to know. Uh, we'll have a look at around the grounds. So Coops. First off the ranks is the belt up cult of the month. Yeah, Hello. so this week's, oh, this week's, this month's um, cult of the month is James Petherick um, from Coastal Cavaliers. Made it, um, he's been a, a pretty solid performer in that Cavaliers back line and I believe played a very influential um, role in the Cavs getting up over the West Scarborough um, Boars the other week. So, mate, James. Awesome work this season, especially in the last month, mate. Um, keep up the good work, and well done on that nomination as uh, Belt Up Cult of the Month. Yeah, and you'll get your, your goodies after you. So, yeah, good work, mate. Um, the other news there around the grounds, the Wallaroo squad was announced. So that's the, team, uh, the squad to take on Japan um, coming up. And four of the WA girls have made it. So congratulations to Mika, Beck. Trilene and Ariana, um, all have been training the house down at Rugby WA and, and deserve their spots in that squad and hopefully get onto that starting team or at least the match day 23. So really good work by those yeah, ladies. They've been working hard. It's been good. Well, yeah, been working very hard. Um, um, yeah, the next one um, is the announcement of the under-18s boys and girls squads. They'll be travelling um, next month for the national championships. Um, congratulations to, to all involved. Once again, a lot of hard work in the last eight weeks prepping for those tournaments. So we wish you all the best. Prep well, um, and hopefully you get the, the cheese. Yeah, the cheese, definitely. And Harry, our media manager, is going to put the link in for those announcements of the squads, both the boys and the girls. So make sure you click on the link and um, check out those squads and congratulate those girls when you see them and those boys. Um, the other one around the ground, Coops, this is, this is huge, I think, and, and good on them. Shaky and I were trawling through the history books to try to figure out, was this their first win? Cat and Irish ladies got a win over Rocks this weekend. Thought it was their first ever win, but it's not. It's their second ever win, so nice. congratulations to you. Great result, putting in the effort um, at training, and I know Perth Irish are um, 
or Curtin Irish are training the halves down to try and continually improve uh, performances. So great work on that win, I think, Good a special mention. Awesome, Coop. So I think we'll go to tips of the week. Beautiful. Tips. You refereeing this week? I am. I've got UWAB June Lup, so keep me out of that one, okay, please. Well, that, that, that's at the bottom of the list, so we'll, but it's not, uh, you know, not signifying what that means. But anyway, <laughs> um, Ox v. Pally over at Harrisdale. Um, first up, who do you have here? Um, mate, I'm going, oh, this one's a tough one. Um, Ox at home are tough to beat, um, but the, the, the Pally boys, I think, will get up just. Everything's on the line for Pally there. Yeah. They have to win. Obviously, score more points than Ox to get that win. So, you know, they'll be throwing the kitchen yeah. sink at them. Ox are going to ruin the party, potentially. Oh, well. They, they, I keep getting hammered by the All Brothers that they're, they're a team to, um, not to mess with. So, perfect. We'll see what happens. Coastal Cavs v. Nedlands over at Oakmont Reserve. Big trouble for the Netties boys. Yep. But what do you have? Um, mate, after their performance last week, um, I think the Netties boys will, will continue... The, this part of the season with another win and then just prepping themselves into that top six spot. So Yeah, perennial um, finalists. So you no doubt would say that they know how to win and get there and then perform from there. That's it. Yeah. Um, big one here. So Wanneroo have to beat Cottesloe this week to secure a top six spot. This is at Harvey Field. Uh, the weather, who knows what could happen. Over, always windy down there at Harvey Field. So it's going to be a tough one for Wanneroo. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Apparently, word on the street, the, the Wanneroo boys don't like the wet. They haven't won in the wet this year. So if it's a wet one, I'd potentially tip the Cop boys. But if it is dry, that Wanneroo team's pretty handy with ball in hand and, and their defence is pretty handy too. So um, depending on the weather, could go either way, I think. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see the selection for Wanneroo, see how they handle that from last week. Because, yeah, Nettie's, Nettie's can show them up a bit. Yeah. Um, Soaks v Southern Lions over at Allen Park. Yeah, I think the um, Soaks boys here have to win by a pretty big margin um, because if they do win and a couple of other teams win as well, they, they need the points differential to go their way. Yep. So they need to go out there and absolutely dust the, the Lions boys this weekend. But I think they'll get up, but I'm not sure by how much. Yeah, Lions won't, won't throw that one away. They'll, they'll come out firing. Uh, West Garbra v Curtin at Benner Park. Yep. Um, Mate, the West Garbra boys, I think we'll we'll get the get the cheese. Get the cheese. Second one today, <laughs> thank you. Um, in that one, but mate, the Curtin boys are, are scoring more tries every week, so I, th I don't think um, it'll be as easy as they think it's going to be. Yeah, absolutely, and they and, and they're they're secured a spot in the top um, six where they finish. Ultimately, will determine on on other results yep. and their own result, but yeah, I think they'll be too good. And last but not least. Uh, well, actually, we've got two more. You've got your game, UWA Joondalup yep. at McGillvray Oval. Yep. Um, I might tip this, Perfect. if you don't mind. Thank you. Um, I tip that you're probably going to send somebody off. Oh, <laughs> Confetti Cooper will be back in Premier Grade. Um, but I, I think UWA will be too strong. I think they um, performed really well against Cot. Um, they've consistently... Um, perform the season and, and no doubt I think they're going to get over June Love. Even though June Love got the win from last yeah. week, they'll have their tails up. But I, I think they'll be just too strong at home over on the hill. Um, and the live stream fixture of the round is uh, Bayzy v Kalamunda over at Patahara. Coops, who do you have in this one? Um, gee, this was after watching the Cala boys um, go down last week to June Love. Um, they didn't play that well last week. Um, so I think the Bayzy boys will will be trying to get the W this week against them and put on a good show. Um, I'll pick the Basie boys by five at home. Big one. Big Sweet. one to get the cheese. Yeah. I don't even need a cheese counter. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ding. Awesome. So that's all the, the, the tips for this week. We do have junior rugby on this weekend. There is women's rugby on as well. Um, so make sure you head out and support your local club. It will be a bit wet, I think. So make sure you take some wet weather gear. We'll go on to uh, Local Hero of the Week, Coops. If you can give us your Local Hero of the Week. Yeah, so our Local Hero of the Week uh, this week is Ronan O'Shea from Southern Lions Rugby Club. Um, he currently is the president um, of the club down there. Um, so, mate, gets a, a lot of things done with an awesome committee behind him as well with the likes of Sam Holt and, and a couple of others. Um, 
But the other thing that Ronan does is put his hand up and he, he's a referee week in, week out in community rugby land. So um, pretty much wearing two hats there, looking up the club uh, on the side, but also helping on field with, with our lack of referees as well. So, mate, Ronan, we appreciate your time and effort that you put into community rugby um, in this state. Um, and hopefully this is just a bit of a recognition for that, mate. So good work. Thank you very much. Yeah, well done, Ronan. Well done to other Lions. Yeah, the, I think the whole club as a whole. Yeah. Almost our local hero. Um, TMO Club of the Week. This is, a, this is a funny one. Almost the old scorpion kick here. Yep. Um, we'll just have a look at it and leave you for it. I'll leave you with that. So there's Tavita Sifa, just riding the floor with his face. <laughs> um, option A would be to do that. Option B would stay on your feet. Yeah, and try win the ball. Try win the ball, but that's okay. So that's it for another week um, of Let's Chat Community Rugby. Um, again, if you have any stories from around the ground, please send them in. Anyone playing their 100, 200, 300, 800, um, send their story in with a picture. Any TMO Clips of the Week that you think we should put up, whether that's a training uh, video or game video, send that to us. Social um, event. Yeah, social event, who knows. Uh, and also your local Hero of the Week. We want to recognise those volunteers um, and, and people within your club that are doing an outstanding job that you know other, other people might not even know they're, they're there. So please send them all in to Rugby WA Media. Um, link below. Harry, make sure you put that in. Um, and we'll see you all next week. Coops, good luck on the weekend at Thanks, McGilvray. Cheers, um, Super Rugby fi uh, semi-finals as well. So that's always good as well. Um, so, yeah, good luck to everybody. Sweet. Thanks, Coops. Thanks, Dane. No worries. Good Thanks job, all. mate. <laughs>